Hi friends, I'm Dr. Bhavesh Doshi. I'm a consultant pediatric surgeon. I am here today to share some information regarding undescended testis. Undescended testis is a condition where the testis is not in the scrotum at the birth of the child. When the child is in the mother's womb, the testis is formed in the abdomen. As the child slowly grows in the mother's womb, the testis comes down the abdomen and slowly drops into the scrotum around the ninth month of pregnancy. If the testis is not in the scrotum at birth, it is still believed that in the first six months the testis will fall down by itself. Therefore, no treatment is required during this period. If the testis doesn't fall into the scrotum in the first six months, it has to be brought down surgically. The nature of the surgery is decided by one single factor. And that factor is whether the testis is felt to the hand while examining the child. If the testis is palpable or felt to the hand while examining, the surgery is far simpler and is called a open orchiopexy. This is a daycare surgery where a small around one inch cut is made in the groin of the child where the testis is located. It is freed from the surrounding and slowly brought down to the scrotum. A small cut is made into the scrotum and the testis is fixed there. Once the procedure is over, the child can go home the same evening. It is advised for the child to take some antibiotics and painkillers. There is no need for any suture removal or any aftercare that requires to be done. The child is as good as the child was prior to the surgery. If the testis is not felt to the hand while examining, a laparoscopic orchiopexy is performed. Here, a small camera is put through the umbilicus of the child and the testis is located in the abdomen. If the testis is not too far, the testis can be freed from the surrounding structures and brought down into the scrotum in the same city. If the testis during the surgery appears to be too far from the scrotum, it is advisable to perform a two-stage surgery. In the first stage, the blood vessels supplying the blood to the testis are burnt and over the next six months, the testis forms a new blood supply. After six months, a second surgery is performed and now the testis is brought back to the scrotum in the similar way as it is brought in the open orchiopexy. At such times, orchidectomy might need to be performed, that is, the removal of the non-functioning testis. The surgery should be performed around 6 to 10 months of age. The delay in bringing the testis to the scrotum might hamper the function of the testis. If the surgery is not performed at all, the testis might become carcinogenic, that is, it might become cancerous. So, a stitch in time might save nine. If your baby has such symptoms, and the testis is not there in the scrotum, kindly visit a pediatric surgeon and get the disease rectified in time. Thank you.